Number 20. What changes occur to the atomic number and the mass of a nucleus during each of the following decay scenarios? And then we have a positron being emitted. So the first thing is just know that whenever you're talking about something being emitted, we are undergoing emission. And if you are emitting something, emission, if you're emitting something, you're putting it out there into the universe, right? So it's going away from what you were. Which means that whatever your particle is, it's going into the products, right? And the products usually, I mean, every time, the products is your environment. You're putting it out there into the environment. That's what you're producing. So in this case, we are producing a positron. Now, a positron is just an anti-electron. So we have electrons, and then we have anti-electrons, which are positrons. And we know that that subatomic, not subatomic particle, but that particle is going to be in the product side because it's undergoing emission. So let's write our nuclei notation, which is the three boxes, and let's find out what the positron is all about. Positron. Now, since a positron is an anti-electron, we could either write it as an E value or, so E for electron, or we could do a beta sign because electrons are known as beta emissions. So we'll keep the beta here. Now a normal um, electron would be zero up top and a negative one down below. But since a positron is the flip side, it's the anti-electron, it's not going to be a negative one, but just a positive one. So it's just going to be a one. So anytime that you have a zero on the top as your atomic mass and a one as your atomic number, that's a positron. But now let's just see what's going to happen to my actual substance because that's what they want to try to find out. Well, let's bring in some, you know, radioactive substance. Radioactive substance. It does not matter who you choose, right? So maybe I'll do carbon. Right, 14 on the top, generally carbon-14 is the radioactive one. The top numbers are always your atomic mass, so we'll be seeing what happens to that. And then the bottom numbers are always your atomic number, which are your number of protons. Now the atomic number for carbon is always going to be 6, which can be found on the periodic table. Now let's just see what happens to the substance when a positron comes off it. Well, here's my new nucleide notation. And just remember that the tops for the left-hand side have to equal the total tops for the right. So if you have a total of 14 here and no mass is being changed because a positron has no mass, that means that this has to be a 14. So what's happening to the atomic mass? Yeah, the mass, and that's what that means, the mass of the nucleus, which is the atomic mass. So the atomic mass is unchanged. So you could say is unchanged or remains the same. And now let's just see what's going on with that atomic number. You have a total of six on the left. One plus what will get a six? Yeah, five. And then you could always look on the periodic table to find out whose atomic number is five. It's got to be borons. But then what happened to your atomic number? It dropped from a six to a five because the positron takes one. So we'll say that our atomic number decreases by one. So you will have a completely different new uh, atom because as soon as you change that atomic number, you will not be the same element as you were before. And that's the final answer. So I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want, you can become a member to the channel. We just opened them up for this school semester. I hope you are doing well out there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. It just gets the word out there in this YouTube universe. Um, but yeah, thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.